I know something with Dr. Sullivan is that he never overdoes a neck. He doesn't pull too tight where it just looks very faux or it looks, it looks overdone. Um, we are really not very hyper aesthetic on the East Coast. So an East Coast aesthetic is a very natural one. And he's very much an East Coast surgeon. So I love that he's giving this lecture tonight for all of you. Well, I, I think that, that you're absolutely right about that. And I'm going to show, if I may, some of the people that you sent me that have these deep creases in their neck from being pulled too much. And so how do you get rid of those? You can't remanufacture skin. Right. But um, as you know, a lot of our work is very much based on artistry. And this is something that I, a picture that I took at the Louvre uh, when I was doing a fellowship in there, in there. But you can see the jawline, the neck, and even a little platysma band here uh, mm -hmm. that was kind of interesting. So the elasticity problems that we, that we frequently see in the neck is, do you see this skin here that looks like a corrugator that's just all this extra skin? Mm -hmm. So when I see something like that, and for the people that are watching, I get really concerned about the loss of elasticity in this area. So those are the kind of people that may not have their lift last quite as long as somebody who's 40. Mm -hmm. So... So what we did for her is really focused on the skin and the contour. And we, you know, she does have makeup post-operatively, but we're able to get a better contour shapes and, and uh, an overall better look for her. But notice it also involves some work on the eyebrow area to try to get that evened out and some eyelid work. So it's oftentimes a combination of things to try to get the best result. This one is an awesome case, guys. Yeah. So yeah, love this one. Well, because I saw somebody just posted, um, one of your friends down in New York just posted somebody and postoperatively, they still had this area here that is for me a real concern. Mm -hmm. So I really focus not only on the neck and somebody like this, but also the jowl area and this perioral mound. As we lift this all up, it's really important not only to remove the jowl and the perioral mound, but also to fill in these, these places with fat. Right. That's, that's why I think um, going back to the, the whole idea of doing mm -hmm. this in an artistic way and giving something that, you know, you can see some of the changes that happened here in the neck region. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the side, you'll notice that this downturn, that kind of frown that she said, people, what are you mad? Are you stern? What's going on? And they were able to improve that to a degree as well.